Okay, they're keeping it interesting today. And now we have one of those um, two-part binary dingleberry uh, chemtrails. You've seen them. Too smooth that really fan out and then the other two turn into these uh, clusters of dingleberries that sometimes uh, turn into strand that look like uh, chromosomes and other times they just look like these and then they pillow down like those uh, party patio lights that you string around the top of your patio or something and we're going to get to see what it looks like when it crosses the sun today like I said, they're keeping it interesting. Now, <clears throat> from my research, uh, there's the one aspect of solar radiation management, which is the uh, spraying of mostly the sulfates in the atmosphere to, to uh, uh, reflect the solar radiation back out into space and therefore cooling the earth below it, uh, which they have in place. There's another aspect in which the Air Force was supposedly putting the nanometal out to basically eliminate communication problems. If you remember back in the olden days, <laughs> uh, radio uh, transmissions and sometimes television were interfered with by electrical storms. Uh, they interfered with radio transmissions and in an attempt to make sure that they have a complete control of the planet and instant communication uh, these chemtrails have uh, nano encapsulated the water molecules that are in the atmosphere and that's how they are able to control and create clouds and their one a cloud that came out of the back of their jets ass leaving the dingleberries is going to cross the sun right now and that looks pretty damn cool and once again it's causing the sensor to freak out what do you think about this Thor BP Earthwatch Ben Time Traveler Dabu 77 Robert Morris and others that I have uh, not mentioned and I apologize pretty cool So the ability to actually obscure the sun is uh, limited because it actually, it's not. I mean, there's no way that they're blocking it. And what we've seen today, none of the clouds that they're that are floating supposedly naturally are obscuring it. Not in the way you would think. Supposedly the black dot is the, sen the camera sensor preventing it uh, overload and so it shuts off because of the intensity of light but this uh, I don't think that's the case here and the size of the object comes into question because the size changes in areas when it is not in the trees when it is clearly there's no interference except for the clouds and then whatever is in the atmosphere uh, obscuring the view but I have a host of uh, pictures that show uh, this thing changing size well that's it for now and uh, continue grabbing data have a good one